Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes. I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 250 videos so far on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys. Now, I know some people are not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I would be happy to make a video for you or provide you the information you need. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe or maybe now you should consider doing so because if you don't, you lose. Now it's very different chapter on the channel. I usually share small customizations, but now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets, highly customizable to make a Shopify store very unique and professional without having to rely on those expensive teams or paying those expensive developers or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and it's not a very good idea for long-term projects. Projects. But I give you a better deal, scroll down to your channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, not let you be the judge, now respect your decision. But for now, let me fulfill again one of the most requested videos, which is how to add the notify me when back in stock widgets on your Shopify product page. And no, without, without using any apps or anything like that, by using our own custom code and it's completely free. And of course, it will not show up on the available products, it will only show up once the product became sold out. And yes, automatic, you don't have to enable the widget on each product once it goes sold out, no, it's not. It will actually be automatically show up on the products that became sold out. You don't have to keep track and stuff. So across all your Shopify store products, once the product becomes sold out or not available anymore, it will automatically display that widget so the customer can notified once the product is back in stock. And yes, it's completely free again and without using any applications. So I would appreciate if you can hit that like button and leave me a comment as well. I do reply to each comment and also it will motivate me to share more stuff with you guys. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. So I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. And each video I add small customizations, but a video like 60 or 70, the team will be completely different. But now I think I reached that level halfway. For example, check out this all-in-one reviews carousel that will show reviews from multiple sources, Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Etsy, all in one place, and it's filterable. Or even better, this recent sales notification that will show you the recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code, no applications involved. Or if you wanna save some money, let me show you this. So this is the mouse cursor, right? I'm gonna act like, just like I wanna close the page or leave. And this thing will show up, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and it didn't check, check out. As you can see, I have one product added to the cart and I didn't check out. And yes, by using your own custom code again, and I will quit, I promise. So this uh, Shopify store, which is down, it's full of stuff, as you can see. Many things I did in tutorials. I will do a demonstration on another one instead. Because if I click on this product, check out how many stuff in here. It's so many things. And I did them all for free, by the way, and already posted. So let me close this one and I will do a demonstration on the new team, which is Horizon team. So I will do this on the this team right here. And no worries, I have a complete series on customizing Horizon team. And that will be posted soon as, as well. So let me get back in here. So the first thing you're going to do is click on customize for the team you are using. And once you see me click on customize, you might be thinking, oh, it's already available on Team Editor. No, it's not. And I will open another dashboard in here because I want to show you actually it works. So once you submit, once the user or the visitor submits his email, you can see actually on the here on customers, you can see his email. And I will do demonstration in this video so you can see. So let's just get back to Team Editor. And the next thing I'm going to do is switch to the product page from the, from the panel right here at the top of the page. Then click on products and select the template you're using for product page. In my case, I'm using the default one, so I'm gonna click on it. Then it will show you a product page in here. Let me switch the product to someone cleaner. This one has so much info. Uh, same one, this one. Yeah, I just did a video by the way on this widget right here. If you are interested in that, check out the channel. But uh, in here, we're gonna edit below. It should be below the byte now. So let's just uh, expand the, on the template on the left panel, expand the product information. And there is the buy button in here. So we will add it in here. So click below. In case you wanna add it somewhere, make sure to do so. In my case, I'm gonna add it below the byte now. So click on add block anywhere you want. Then uh, search in here for custom liquid and click on custom liquid code in here. And it will show you this prompt this time on the right side of the, the screen. 
and a section where you're gonna pass in some code. And where are you gonna get that code? You need to hire a developer, pay him, wait 24 hours, then check the code, I'm just joking. Scroll down the description box and we'll see a link. My website, completely free again, click on it, then download a zip file and inside it you will find that .liquid file. Open that liquid file with any text editor on your computer, then copy the whole code inside it, then simply pass it in here. That's very simple, right? And once I zoom out, uh, it should not show up. Why? Because the product is not sold out. So why should <laughs> why should there be a widget here saying, oh, notify me when you're back in stock when the product is already on stock? It doesn't make sense, right? So click on save button. Then we're gonna access the Shopify store. And I think I have a product that's sold out and you will see if it will work on it or not. So as you can see, if I access this product, just for demonstration, as you can see, it will not show up. So let me get back in here. And this is the product that's sold out. As you can see, it says sold out. So let's just check it out and just click on it. And here it is, as you can see, it does not show the buy it now button because it's sold out. And there is only sold out button in here and below it is the form where you can type in your email and click notify me when back in stock. And as you can see, it's interactive and this is highly customizable. And the code, I added comments so you can understand each code, the color for it and what it does and how to change it. So that you can change this, you can customize this however you want according to the style of your Shopify store. Change color, text, color, and so on. And I added comments, as I said. Each code has a comment in front of it where you can read and understand what the code does and change it, customize it however you want. But for now, let me do a demonstration. Also have this text, we don't share information, or your information with others, uh, which is a privacy uh, input. So in here, I'm gonna type in uh, any email for demonstrations. So I'm gonna type in on how make sure to subscribe. Yeah, because make sure to subscribe or was gmail.com. Yeah, let's just do this just for demonstration. So as you can see, this is the email right here on how make sure to subscribe and make sure you do so if you want more stuff. So click on uh, notify me when back and it will subscribe the email. Now it's, as you can see, it reloaded the page now it's subscribed. If I get back in here, I'm gonna reload the page to make sure it's uh, retrieved the new info. And I click on customers and click on, uh, sorry, click on customers in here. And here is, I see it. On how, so make sure to subscribe uh, gmail.com as you can see. And here it is, as you can see, uh, customer since half a minute, which is exactly like half, not even half a minute, like 10 seconds or less. So that's how you add the notify me when back in stock notification or widgets on your Shopify store by using your own custom code and it's highly customizable. Just check out the code and see the comments and you can understand how to customize it. If you have any questions, just drop me a comment below. I'll be happy to help you out. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.